one key action was taken, uh, which we refer to as a toilet design workshop, because uh, uh, prior to that, we have really been struggling with how can we make this toilet gen gender sensitive? Our initial thinking was mostly around sustainability. How can we maintain uh, or ensure that the project we provide for the communities are really sustained? But then the idea also came around gender sensitivity. And so we organized uh, a toilet design workshop and invited uh, uh, sanitation uh, professionals, especially those that are involved in designing uh, a community or public toilets or, or even private toilets. But then that is really very friendly, that is sustainable, that is, that is affordable, you know, and also gender sensitive. And uh, in that workshop, uh, we have a very good representation of women and a representation of people with disability. And so some ideas really were flagged up that to actually ensure that you are designing a toilet that is innovative and that is responsive to the needs of particularly women and people with disability. So the women particularly emphasize that that facility has to have proximity to improve water uh, sources and services. You know, I think this falls in line with the cliche that, uh, you know, there is no good sanitation without good water. And so uh, that was really uh, very critical. They, they proposed to uh, us as well as the sanitation designers. And, and obviously, uh, even in past experiences, most of the toilets that uh, had been erected in communities, they lose sight of that fact. So it is mostly, uh, the focus is mostly on infrastructure. Build beautiful infrastructure, you know, are very attractive, but then they miss out on that component of, of uh, water. So once they start using it, uh in 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 a month or so then the the, the environment be, be began begins to become uh, if you like uh, unsanitary the other thing that was really emphasized particularly by the women was the disposal of of uh, their sanitary parts so um you know th this, this was really to be honest it was a sticking point to, to, to all of us as part of that engagement. Uh, you know, uh, women's menstruation in Africa is really a very sensitive uh, uh, topic to discuss. And, 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 and in many cases, the women really experience uh, some kind of uh, painful, uh, if you like, journey in, in, in that period. Uh, because firstly, the facilities are lacking actually to dispose their, their sanitary parts. And, you know, because of, you know, the taboo around it, that they even feel kind of dissociated from, from their usual uh, unit, social unit, and so. So, yeah, so it was agreed eventually that public toilets should at least have some kind of the detachable, detachable outfit where women can deposit uh, 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 their sanitary parts, then which could be disposed probably in in the in a dump site on a later date by those who manage the facility. Lastly, there was also the issue around people with disability, and in the end, it was agreed that the toilet should have ramps and also railings that can give support to people with disability. Ram where those using uh, wheelchairs can easily ride into the toilet facility and then uh, railings, you know, that can provide a support mechanism whilst they are in the, using the, the toilet facility. So essentially those were like the three critical things that came out of that discussion. Thank you.